Hey guys, so this is an update video to my BitPhoenix Prodigy M. So you may be looking at this and asking yourself, what the hell is he doing right now? Because <laughs> I got this orange cup connected to this tube. And uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm draining the loop. I wanted to show you guys how I, how I drain it. I have my uh, power supply hooked up via connecting the green and the black wires. I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about. It's kind of a way to trick your power supply into turning on without actually powering your computer components. And what it does is it powers your pump. And the way I have my uh, valve, my draining system set up, I use the pump to help me drain it faster. So right now I just kind of, I connected a barb fitting and then connected just some tubing I had left over from my H80i mod that I video that I did. So right now, pretty much all I have to do is turn the valve and then turn the system on via the uh, switch on the power supply. And then it should kick on and start the draining process. The thing with draining it through using a power supply and using the pump, you need to be wary that if you hear your pump start to dry out, you need to turn off the power supply immediately because most pumps are run, they're lubricated with the actual water and if it starts to run dry, you can burn out your pump very quickly. So you need to be conscious of that if you're doing it this way. A lot of people don't even use their pump to drain, they just use the valve and go that way. But I'm, I decided to do it like this and we'll see how it goes. The main reason, I didn't even get to the reason I'm doing this today is because I'm adding this i7-2600K. So what I have in there right now is the i5-2500K, which is a good processor. I'm sticking with Sandy Bridge basically because I got this. I sold my i5 for 120, I believe, 120 or 130, somewhere in that range. And I got this for... 140 so I'm really only paying like $15 to upgrade to this i7 <laughs> so I, I I originally wanted to go Ivy Bridge but I kind of I like Sandy it's a better overclocker and it's good enough for what I'm doing I like I need this for video editing so that's the main reason I'm even upgrading but just for gaming the i5 was fine also I added an LED strip like right down here in this crevice next to the pump and it, it looks really good I'll show you guys at the end it lights I just went with white LEDs and it it really makes it makes it pop all right let's give this thing a whirl Let me put it like this I'm gonna turn the valve I'm gonna turn the valve hopefully without there we go nothing's happening yet that's to be expected there we go. I'm going to tip it down so you can see the water leaving. It's going to leave the immediate area in the pump right now before I even turn it off. But I also have this handy, courtesy of my two and a half year old. <laughs> Some wipes in case something goes horribly wrong. <laughs> I think we'll be okay though. Right now I'm just going to tip it and try to get as much out as possible without even turning the pump on it's still pouring a decent amount out just doing it this way I'm gonna do this for a little while and then I'm gonna turn the pump on and get it going because it's still coming out there we go I don't know if you can see that but you can see I think it's it's slowing down now we go. I can tell the pump sounds okay still. Nothing to worry about. If it starts grinding or making any type of weird noise, I'm, I have my finger on the trigger and I'll turn it off right away. That's the main thing. Like you do not want your pump to run dry. Else you can, you can burn it out so quickly. I've seen it done before. I'm just going to give it a little shake. Slowly but surely, it'll work it, its way out. You can already see in the reservoir, it's 
lowered maybe half an inch I'm just gonna keep shaking it like that you can see the tube is full of water the one that's pouring into the cup right now so it's definitely doing its job it's just gonna take a little bit all right guys so I pretty much have the loop fully drained the only thing left is a tiny bit in the bottom of the res but I'm not gonna be tilting it anymore anyway so that should be fine like that the only tricky part was there was some stuck in this bend right here so I just kind of bopped it off the uh, I undid the compressing compression fitting popped it off and then just like tilted it into a, a cup so it wasn't too bad the whole thing took me only like I don't know 10 minutes maybe it would have took me like an hour if I didn't have this draining system though because this got rid of most of it there's just still there's always still gonna be some stuck in the tricky parts you know all right so I got the block out it wasn't too hard I uh, kept the tubes in place I want to just leave them like this until it'll make the reassembly easier all right, all that's left to do is to take some isopropyl alcohol, clean the top of the I-5, the bottom of the block, and then put the I-7 in there, add some thermal compound, and then reassemble. Okay, guys, I wanted to mention a very, very important step, and that is testing your CPU. See how I just hooked the normal... The fan that it comes with, I just hooked that up real quick. I re-attached uh, the 24-pin thing. I'm just going to run. I'm just going to test it. Because if you get a CPU that's like a dud, which is rare, but God forbid you get that. And then you set your entire loop back up, get it running, and then you turn your PC on and nothing fucking happens. <laughs> Like, you really, it's just it's just a good idea. It's a, I mean, it, it doesn't take that long either, so I just wanted to mention that real quick. Okay. All right, so I tested the i7. It's working fine. I took the fan off, and then I cleaned, uh, I cleaned the thermal compound off of it. Now I'm going to reapply it. All right, that's not pretty. About that, I'm probably going to put a little more on because it's a little sporadic. <laughs> but about that like maybe the size of the length of two grains of rice I guess I don't know anything around that is fine usually just don't skimp on it and don't overdo it because you don't want it to spread too thick and too and like go over the edges and like that's it's no good so just be wary of that alright guys I got it all reassembled got the loop filled most of the bubbles out now I'm going to turn it on. It's the moment of truth. <laughs> if this shit doesn't start, I might cry. You might hear me cry right on YouTube. Come on. Please. Oh. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. There's my raid. All right, let's start Windows. Starting. I should probably go into the BIOS because I have to change. Uh, well, I'll do the overclocking later, but I just want to make sure everything's copacetic right now. It looks beautiful. How do you guys like the LEDs? It's just a, a white, normal white LED. Like the bluish kind of white, though, not like the orange type white. That you know what I'm talking about. I think it looks gorgeous. Uh oh. I just got a blue screen of death. That's not good. I'm gonna have to see what the fuck is up with that. Here, I'm gonna go into the BIOS anyways. Try to figure out what's going on. But let's see. Until seven processors oh that's why that would be why because it's my bios has saved the overclocking settings for my uh my i5 and it's automatically putting it on the i7 right now that's why i blue screened because i didn't it's a completely different processor i need to overclock it from i need to find its speed if you're not familiar with overclocking, you have to up the voltage and 
the uh, the frequency kind of in parallel to get it to to its max speed. I don't know. It's if you want to over if you're interested in it, look it up. <laughs> but that that's the reason why it just blue screen to death. So I gotta go back and I'm just gonna set it to stock now and then do some research on its overclocking capabilities and then start from scratch and just start overclocking it. Alright guys, that's my update video. Stay tuned though, next week I'm gonna have another update video where I'm going to be doing this. Got Lutro Customs just sent me my sleeving, just came in the mail. So next week I'm gonna take my uh, power supply out and start sleeving the cables. I'm gonna do the ugly 24 pin that's in there. You can see, kind of see the wires there. I'm gonna do the graphics card cables. There's one eight and one six, and then I'm gonna do the eight pin motherboard power cable down there. It's gonna look sick when it's done. And I don't know why that light turned back on. That's supposed to be set to off by default, but oh well. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for the upgrade video this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry if the lighting or the camera wasn't up to par. I'm trying to make these videos. I need a better camera, pretty much, and a better just setup altogether. But uh, thanks for bearing with me. I hope you got something out of this video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'm always reading the comments. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next week. Later.